before, like when I was in the in the fifth and sixth grade, I didn't get to, you know, no, I didn't know a lot about Indians, but this will, um, you know, tell me, you know, I'll learn a lot about my ancestors and stuff, you know, just from this trip, because we stopped at, you know, camping sites where Indians camp. It's been a pretty well experiencing trip. We've learned a lot, learned what nature really is, how its environment should be taken care of. Well, the purpose of the trip is to get uh, American Indian students interested in the Grand River, uh, the history of it, the history of the Indian people in the Grand River, and understanding the historic and economic uh, condition of the river from, oh, about 1800 till present day. And way out like this and try paddling that canoe because it'll just work hard on you. Keep your canoe, keep your paddle in and... Uh, Cut right into the water so you don't make a big splash. It'll save you, save your energy. It'll keep you, keep you a little drier. Also, the guy in the back will use this paddle as a rudder, and he'll push that rudder out, push the tip out like that, kind of out behind you, to make you go off to the left. Push this paddle off this way, stick it in the water to go off to the right. I should say port and starboard, huh? Cool. If you see yourself coming up under, under a rock or a branch or something that's under the water, and it's enough to start pushing you like this, just drop right down to the bottom of that canoe. And uh, you get that weight down, and uh, it won't keep you so top heavy, and you have a lot better chances of not going over. And knock on wood, I've had a little bit of experience in a canoe, and I haven't gone over yet. but. Uh, there's always a first time. You never know when you're going to run over something that's going to, going to flip you over just like that. And once that weight starts shifting, goodbye. <laughs> well, good luck. Well, let's get them unloaded, huh? Well, as you all know that before we go into the river, we ask our Creator for guidance, for safety, and we also offer the river, the spirit of the river, tobacco. This is because we're not here to take anything but to offer, and we follow our traditional ways in offering a sacred herb to the spirit of this river. Now remember to offer this tobacco each place we go along the river where a tributary stream or another river comes in. Because at the largest tributaries is where our ancestors had their village. And so you're giving them a gift of tobacco. Miigwech.
Back when the ancestors, it was all clean, nice. I wish it could be the way it was then. It's just made me proud, you know, going down the rivers, thinking that people have been here, you know, that we're passing where others have gone, and appreciating how hard they had it. There were a lot of uh, portages and a lot of trees down the river, so the people really had to work hard on Monday. Yesterday, uh, we covered uh, about 21 miles, and we did have a few rough spots, but we're looking forward to a little smoother uh, canoe trip down the river. So they're getting an education, uh, they're getting information that they can use in school later on in life. And I think most importantly they're learning how to work and get along with other people because a trip like this takes a lot of teamwork. What was the sunrise ceremony this morning all about? Um, we did that because it shows that we're not taking from the land, we're giving it, you know, giving the tobacco. 
instead of just taking all the time from it. We're just thanking the, thanking the environment, you know, for the things that it gives us, and just appreciating it. I thought it was nice, you know, giving something and thanking it, because I never thought of doing that before. Uh, we'd like to do 30 miles today, and I think we can because we hit 21 uh, yesterday, and the first day uh, we were only able to do uh, about 15 with that because it, it was tough. We spent a lot of time getting out of the river, so I think we'll do much better today. Really good. I think we're right now. It took this long to really get to know each other, to get a sense of identity and a sense of uh, one group, a cohesive group. And what we're talking about is everyone here is to act and treat each other like we are one family, like a uh, small band moving down the river as our ancestors did. So we have to help each other, support each other, find each person's strengths and weaknesses and to uh, capitalize on as much as we can. Well, we achieved our objective, objectives of exploring the river and trying to find out uh, the feasibility of bringing other groups down the river. We had to look at various campsites, uh, some of the areas we'd have trouble with, and uh, we did have a rough time coming down. There were a lot of down trees here and there. Uh, most of the kids are from the urban area, so the first day or two was just getting them in shape, getting ourselves in shape, and most importantly, getting to know each other. Just thinking about how, you know, how simple things were back then. They had it hard, I'm learning. <laughs> well, because we are rolling down the river and no TVs or anything. <laughs> Well, I just want to say that this trip was a result of a request by our elders. Sometime back at Lansing Powell, uh, Mr. Chingman, one of the elders of the Grand River Band, said it was good to see uh, us on the river. So from that point, the trip evolved. And we all believe in dreams. And shortly after that, I had a dream that a group of people were going to make the trip that our ancestors did. So this is the result. My name is Kay Rowland and I'm from Lansing. Rob and Ari and I'm from Lansing. You guys together from San Rancho. First day birds, right after. Thank you. 